Olympic beat Paris Saint-Germain 1-0 this past Sunday. The game ended in scandal when five players were sent off with red cards following a confrontation between them. It is Marseille's first league win over the PSG in their nine years in League One. Dominic Thiem won the US Open for the very first time in a match in which he faced 23-year-old Alexander Seren. The game lasted four hours and ended on tiebreak. The 2020 edition of the New York Fashion Week took place but looked a bit different. It lasted five days and the shows were done with special protocols because of COVID-19. The staff of the event affirmed that digital platforms helped a lot to develop the show. Sir Anthony Hopkins and Kate Winslet were honored at the virtual gala of the Toronto Film Festival. The stars dedicated their awards to healthcare workers who are at the forefront of the battle against the virus, in the words of Winslet. They accepted their accolades with speeches recorded from their houses as only people based in the city can assist to the screenings. Alexei Navalny came out of a coma last week. He hadn't sent any public messages until past Tuesday, when the main Putin critic shared a photograph showing himself in bed and surrounded by his family. Moreover, the politician posted another photo where he is walking. Navalny is slowly getting better. Greek police arrested at least five migrants over the fire that destroyed the migrant camp Moria. The arrested people dispute the official version and blame hostile locals for the fire. The US government announced past Friday that new downloads of video sharing up TikTok and the use of WeChat will be blocked. This is just an initial measure as Trump administration is planning to ban the use of both Chinese apps completely from November 12 in order to safeguard the national security of the United States. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a cultural and feminist icon, passed away on Friday at the age of 87. The cause was complications of metastatic pancreatic cancer, the Supreme Court said. She was widely known for her contributions to the fight for gender equality from a legal standpoint. Her death opens a vacancy on the court, and Donald Trump is expected to nominate a conservative judge as soon as he can. France has logged almost 13,400 new cases of COVID-19 yesterday, a new record since the beginning of the pandemic. Officials watch the numbers with concerns, even though the death toll remains low in comparison to March and April. Restrictions for the city of Marseille and Bordeaux were announced. According to the official updates, over 945,000 people have died so far in the world.